Oh god, why is this? Oh god. Literal term of the hairball. Hey there, horror family, and welcome back to the channel. Or just welcome to the channel if you're brand new. If you are a return watcher, I appreciate you guys being here. If you are a brand new watcher, please like, share, subscribe, comment below your favorite horror movie, sci-fi movie, thriller movie, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another movie reaction with your girl again. All right, so this video is gonna be edited down due to copyright law. I'll throw the legal BS here. So if for some reason, seeing my face, seeing me react, hearing me laugh, hearing me, or seeing me speak to you guys, irritates you at all. This is not the channel. What my main goal for this channel is, is when I get up to 500 subscribers, which I'm slowly peaking um, to that area. Thank you guys, I appreciate that so much new channel come on um, if I can get up to 500 subscribers I am going to start watching a show and this was one of the shows that were kind of on the tippy top of my list would have been tales from the dark side which I believe this movie came out a little bit after the actual television series which I understand came out in the early 80s and I'm also looking at Freddy's nightmares as well as tales from the crypt if I can find them help me here if you know let me know if you have not read the title nor seen the thumbnail what are we watching today so we are watching 1990s and I have never seen this and it will be my first time watching oh I can't believe this 1990s tales from the dark side this is coming from JJ Gibson one so thank you JJ Gibson one we appreciate the suggestion um, I also saw your other suggestion as well and I will make sure to check that one out as well looks like it stars <laughs> the biggest honk of a man in my existence growing up, Christian Slater, hello Heathers. Um, Steve Buscemi, you, we love him in the 90s, as well as Matthew Lawrence, okay, so that's cute. I'm just seeing like a brief synopsis here, but whatever's going on over here actually looks really cool. We will do another public domain movie next week in its entirety, and it's gonna be a good one, and stick around for that. Appreciate you guys, and let's go ahead and jump into... Tells from the Dark Side, the movie. All right, y'all. I'm in my jammies. Got my, my boxed wine. We are ripping and raring to go. Let's, let's figure this shit out. Shit. Title sequence got me. <laughs> this is gonna be very genuine to my time because this is, I think I was 10 when this came out. There's our man, Christian. She looks familiar. Is that the lady from um, the mom from Pet Cemetery? Kind of looks like her. I can't tell with her little hat on. No, never mind. That's I don't think that is the mom from Pet Cemetery. I'm not sure if I'm gonna mute out the the tunes, but this is a bop. They got that whole flute flute solo going. That lovely flute solo that I've grown so accustomed to watching these lovely '80s movies. Okay. Oh, one's oh, okay. So, so it's like select stories. <gasps> Romero. Oh, I know that one. Who is McDowell though? Oh, maybe I need to add this to the list. Oh, that's a pretty house. We have a teeny tiny house. We live on a farm. But that is a cute kitchen. I like it. I'm not loving that backsplash though. Somebody get stuck in the basement. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I know that broom, though. That's a witch's broom. No, definitely not the mom from Pet Cemetery. Hello? Hi. No. Oh, hi. I remember when my house first got a cordless phone. No, I just got back from the store. I think I have everything. Oh, wait. There is something. Oh, she's got lilies. That's my daughter's name. I'll start with champagne. Of course, I'm going to a lot of trouble for a dinner party. See you around eight. Bye. Bye. Okay, something's weird and sus here. Uh-oh. 
Wait a minute. Looks like some black phone charge. bullshit. What happened to that book I gave you? He said, fuck your book. When I was a little girl, this was my favorite book. Which one was your favorite? Mine was Edgar Allan Poe. What difference does it make? Let me out of here. Help! What are you doing? Anybody <laughs> remember his brother? Whoa. She's going to cook me. She's going to eat me. Help! She's going to cook him. Hansel and Gretel. This is the Hansel and Gretel kind of feel. 130. Evisceration takes at least an hour. She's gonna cook this kid for her dinner party? Evisceration? What does that mean? It's like gutting a fish. First you make a long slit, then you take out everything that isn't meat. You know, the heart, the lungs, the intestines, and so forth. Then you fill it all back up with stuffing. Sew it back together. One of these. This sounds delicious, but I don't want to eat a kid. Maybe I should get started now. No, wait. You said this is your favorite book. Don't you want to hear a story? You like it a lot. About these guys. College? One of them's kind of poor. So he works his way through school, selling things. Well, one day, Bellingham got a very special delivery. You know, Lee, I think the most work you've done in four years of college is filling out that application for the Penrose Fellowship. No. Oh, I got a short shirt on. Especially when you have a girlfriend who can write award-winning essays about why I want to spend the summer traveling Europe. And when you can wear short shorts, that's <laughs> a good thing. I just don't see why you would want to risk it. They find out that she wrote the proposal for you, they're just going to kick you out. But this way, I have the fellowship money to bring back a Maserati. I guess who was my number one competitor for the Penrose? You better hope that he doesn't find out that uh, she helped you screw him out of that fellowship, huh? Ah, oh, Andy. I've never found this man attractive, but something about his teeth just calmed me down. You listening to your friend? Yeah, this is Lee Lockton, right? I saw your picture in our illustrious college newspaper. He's week. got so many. Congratulations. Oh, it's not coincidence just... us meeting since we were both. Which way did they get? It's like Tom Cruise's teeth. Sounds like oh, they no, got no, 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 no! Allow me. Hey, thanks. That lot two forty nine was a heavy mother. I'll tell you what, Edward. Why don't you just show us what you have in there, and uh, my friend Lee here will just write it off. All right. I'll show you. Ew, gross. Yeah, something very unfortunate happened to me the day before the committee was to announce its decision. What? Accused of stealing a pre-Columbian Zuni fetish from the museum. Did you? I loathe Zuni aesthetics. But by the time I was cleared, the committee already decided in your favor. Well, who was it that accused you? It was an anonymous tip. Hmm. Something seems sus. Well, I should probably get going. Susan's waiting at home for work. Absolutely not. You're not leaving here until you see what's inside lot 249. Oh, suspenseful music. You could actually sell this to somebody for a profit? What else would I sell it for? Come on, give me a hand. Ooh, I don't want it. I don't want to because, oh, I bet that was stink. Ew. Why would they, ew, God, why would they cook it looks and just like, like your that? father. It stinks like rotten flowers. They do that. I think they do. Well, I don't know. That may have just been the plague. Uh, look, I, I'm going to be late. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Old Christian's going to stay behind. He's going to save the day. That was a weird cut. Cut two. Oh, I hate those houses with the that look, kind of look like weird cottages. <gasps> oh, it's good. It's got her in it. Ooh. You back early? Quit after two sets. What's her name? Julianne Moore. Do you know what your brother is doing right now as we speak? He's unwrapping a mummy. Oh, and then, and then Bellingham casually mentioned I'm that those. someone dropped an anonymous tip about the stolen. Pre-Columbian Zuni fetish? Oh, I was guessing. Well, maybe, but I think Andy knows it was you. Think things are getting weird. No, thank you. He's having my jump my it was teeth out, so I can use them for my my own. Like those people in the old days that used to use the wood teeth. He looks pissed off. Indeed. First thing the embalmers did was to stick a metal hook up his nose and they dragged his brain out through his nostrils. This is where they cut him open so they could pull out all his innards. Well, that's interesting to know. And then they 
stuff them with flowers, spices. Um, that's okay. Then I got that right. I just remember the plague guys Come and on, the big open. nosy. I forgot that they did that as well. Myrrh. Yep. Cassia. Frankincense. Oh God. Oh, um, I would be holding my breath. I could not. I simply could not. Onions. Damn, them onions lasted a while. And what? Onions and what? Celery. Fortune cookie. What? What is that? I'd want to dig my hand around in it too, just to check. I have no idea. You know how to read Third Kingdom hieroglyphics? What if it's like one of those fortunes that are like, whatever day you're supposed to have is, is the day you're supposed to have. Here's your lottery numbers. You're taking those books back to the library now? She is so fucking hot. She could get it all day. And I thought I'd stop by to see Andy on the way home. No, you don't care about those books or Andy. You can go see Bellingham. I'm just gonna talk to him, throw him off the track. <sighs> He's like, I made you this really nice dinner. You're not even sticking around. Zoomy fetish. What's that for? Looks like a little otter. This shit looks old as hell. I wouldn't get it too close to fire. Grow, O oh light. Come forth, O oh light. That sucks at being that thin, thin of walls. Oh, it's going through the, the vents. Open the tap. Come on, the fuse box is right outside your door. Hey, you okay? What the hell are you doing here? I just, I just thought I'd stop by. Why are you acting weird? Hey, hey, hey don't go after him. Go after who? Um. A mummy? Turtleneck meets gray sweatpants. I don't know how I feel about that. Would you like some brandy? Thank you. Can you pour me a big glass? I love that they're doing the, the, the weird music in the background too. To kind of meet up with the scene. Did you see him? No. Well, at least you can get away with lot 249. The way he's acting reminds me of that blonde-headed dude in Pretty in Pink, the one who acts like he's, he's, his shit don't stink. He's always running around in his damn boxers and shit. In your house. I could have broken to that house. Oh yes, yes, it's feeling very Michael Myers closet scene. Yes, please, a tennis racket is gonna do it. Please pick up something heavier. Oh, this guy knew what a, a coat hanger was. He said, gotcha, bitch. This is feeling very Halloween as well, where he like picks him up. <gasps> He's gonna get your brain out. <laughs> he got him his brain out. She's not gonna find anything pretty at the house. dinner. That's so sweet. Is that only four fingers? What the hell? He said I'm out, bitch. Enjoy your brain. Which is a weird symbolism back to the zombie movie. He was not watching, I guess. Go back up. Answer your phone so you don't see him. Oh boy, let him in. <gasps> Is it so he could like use, he could use him? It's like a, 
I saw I'm gonna go out and murder folks. My boyfriend's dead. What is, why are all these college students oh, enjoying like? Like, I'm gonna enjoy a glass of brandy. I only know that because of the glass. I saw who did it. What? He was thin and filthy and stinking like rotten flowers. Like a mummy. Good evening, Mr. Smith. Dean Murray. Andy, do you know Dr. Carey, the curator of the University Museum? What's going on, Edward? Nobody introduced the damn guard. Like, well, he's not here. It's fine. Mr. Bellingham is packing. He's leaving the university. I would have packed that shit in my car and hauled it off beforehand. Would have been a nice acquisition if the mummy had come with it. What happened to the mummy? He said, I sleep in this bitch. What are you talking about? Still hate these stupid chrysanthemums. He said, thank you. I need them for my belly. <laughs> Ooh. Like, I'm, I'm literally wanting to hold my breath every single time the dust comes out. <laughs> That was a scene. Let's kick it open. That's why I never understand these damn doors that look like that. You can just break it. Oh no. Oh, he tried his best trying to make her a mummy though. Poor thing. Didn't do a good job though. He's like, oh, my mummy's coming back. Damn lights are going out. Hey! Oh. Ah. Oh, blink. Oh. Gotta tie their hand oh. behind their back, no too. So they don't get out, because they can wiggle out of that. I'm going to start a little fire under your chair and roast your nuts. Sounds like a good time. Because you killed my sister and my best friend. That's why. Right, right. Your friend locked 249. But... My mummy did. Uh, uh, I thought he'd be back. Ew. Been dead for 3,000 years. That's why I'd only had that many fingers. I would have brought a whole, a whole can of shit. I was really trying to get him. Ooh, damn, I think I forgot my matches. Oh, wait. You have a fireplace. All he needed was something. I think he was taking that thesis paper and he caught him on fire. I believe in being prepared. Hey. Bro. Now he don't have a leg. Christian Slater's wild and... Oh, it's like he's flipping him off. <laughs> he's like getting my arm back. Edward, I'm not going to call the cops either because who in their right mind is really going to believe that a 3,000 year old mummy. Oh, old toenails. Really did come back to life anyway, huh? I love the. I love when Christian Slater's crazy. It's my favorite. Okay. What did this prove? Ooh, 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 all the bugs in him. We're gonna get on him. It's gonna be a bug part. No, this is the reason why we have such, we have insect problems in the world. Because people carry insects from other countries. Oh, that just about takes care of that, doesn't it? <sighs> Would you one time me, please? Just as soon as you tell me where the scroll is. I don't trust that he's gonna catch him on fire. <laughs> Drawer in the desk on the right. How many of these damn things does he have? Oh. It's irreplaceable. Yeah, I No shit. So. so was the mummy that just burned in the fire. That scroll would have made my entire career. Killing me won't bring them back. Well, if I let you live, I will bring them back. And yeah. Don't worry, Andy. You'll never see me again. He's like, eyes on you. And bind them both to, to the gods of death. This taxi driver's like, what in the hell are you talking about? 
Hey man, what's so fucking funny? Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking of this guy it's I like, know. Couldn't distinguish. He's like, can you calm down? Third Dynasty sacred scroll from a piece of post Alexandrian pictogram porn. <laughs> Yeah, Mom, I promise I'll be home as soon as finals are over. No, no, the police still don't have any leads yet. I'll, uh, I'll see you next week. Bye. Andy? Oh, no. Bellingham sends his regards. You told that very well. Thank you. You know, if I'm not on by six, they're going to come looking. Oh, damn. She, she can cook a whole kid in there. I want that oven. The one about the old man who's so rich and he lives in this big old house. This will be the last story and you have to make it quick. His name's Drogan. Why don't you give him a book that he could just retell you stories? It's a big problem. So we hired this man to help him with this big problem. A very professional man. Is that the cab driver from Scrooge? I'm the ghost. <laughs> Already taken care of. You are Mr. Halston, aren't you? That's me. Tell the driver to wait. Man says you should wait. I always this remember guy's him. Man, I ain't going well, nowhere, Tommy. I remember him from a lot of things, especially Christmas Vacation, but... In here, Mr. Halston, I want you to make a hit. That is what you do, I understand. Who do you want to hit? Your victim is right behind you. Oh, oh, that's my beats. I'm going to kill you for that. Kill this mother, freaking cat. Sit down, Mr. Halston, and look in that envelope. $50,000. There'll be another 50000 you bring me proof the cat has ended its time on earth that's weird you're hiring me to kill a cat yes that cat has killed three people in this household that leaves me like a man you need mr Austin. roll out sir like in reverse is the taxi driver still out there waiting there used to be four of us living here myself and Carolyn Broadmoor, the only friend of my sister, a man, and Richard Gage, a hired man with the family almost 20 years, the cat came. I love black cats. It was Gage who saw it first. But every time he drove it off, it kept well, how coming just back. Feed it? Aww. My sister, Amanda, noticed the animal. She's the one who took it in. It's Hungry. <laughs> Get away from her, you just... She... I want it out of here, Amanda! Don't you ever dare to hurt this cat! Oh, my banks don't like getting picked up. He farts. I don't hate cats, Patsy. Me! The cat's like, please take me back to my milk. You'll find out! Look! You all right? I'll be fine. You know who I am, don't you? Drogan Pharmaceuticals. One of the biggest drug companies in America, Mr. Holston. A little sweaty. And the cornerstone of our financial success has always been Tridormo. Good old Tridormo G. I have no idea what any of these are, if they're for real. Remarkably helpful to those of us fighting the debilitating effects. Maybe you're uh, tripping balls off of your own medication. That stuff's one step up from street jump. Why don't you tell me the rest of the story? About that cat. The cat killed them. My sister was the first to die. The cat just wants it wants to get loved on. It just wants some pets. She was on her way to the kitchen to get that evil beast to some food. Yeah. We heard her scream. I'm down in the basement right now, so my cats do that to me all the time. I almost bust my ass over them all the time. Oh, the cat tripped yeah, by accident, the coroner said, but I knew. Oh, I'm just gonna give it pets. Why didn't you get rid of the cat then? I tried. Let me have it, Carolyn. 
My mother told me once that cats like to get babies oh, and old people when they were asleep oh, no. and steal their bread. Oh no, my cat did this too. The exact cat did that to me the other night. <gasps> That's what he's doing. He's trying to, he's trying to suffocate me. Okay, well, that cat specifically was trying to do that, but mine was trying to just let me know it needed to get out of the room. He just wanted to get his damn litter box. Karin is in natural causes in her case, but again. What'd you do then? I sent him out to Milford to the veterinarian there. I had the beast put away once and for all. I phoned ahead to the vet. Uh-oh, he's looking tired. He ain't gonna make it. Oh, yep, that's my cat. He gets his little paw under the door. <gasps> Get him! Get him, little man! Later, day Dick Gage was buried, the cat came back. Well, that's spooky. I'm sure it killed them. It killed them all. God and dang it. I'm you know next. making me want some Chinese food. It's waiting. It's been sent to punish me. I don't get it. For what? For what? Because you make a pharmaceutical that kills cats? Try Dormal G. Developed in our laboratories in New Jersey. Our testing of Tridormal G was confined almost solely to cats. So how many did you eliminate? 5,000 cats. <laughs> and... Jeez! 5,000 of your little buddies get wasted, huh? And they send Aww. you back to sell the score with Drogon here. Don't make light of it, Holston. I... <laughs> I never make light of any matter involving a Dollars. What if the cat actually called him and was like, I need you to take care of this old man. I'm just wait until after he gives me the cash. Or gives you, wait till after he gives you the cash. Son of a bitch! I'll kill your cat for you. Kill it, bury it, and bring me its tail so I can throw it in the fire and watch it burn. How's he know what his tail looks like? I'm going into the city. There's food, there's liquor, there's everything. I don't want to live in that house all by myself. That's a big ass house. Maybe he's trip. He's tripping. He's got to be tripping or hallucinating because he he's taking his own medication. Oh, but he's taking a lot of his medication. What if the cat shows up where he's at? Hello, motherfucker. Kind of looks like the oh, house yeah. where they did the new Hellraiser movie that just came out a year or so ago. Can he get it with a straight wire? Oh my god. They're hollering like a old, old cat on Pet Cemetery. Everything you could ever want. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hey, cat. For me, it's nothing but the best. Gonna have some burnt kitty for dinner. Oh. One egg butter. Everything you could ever want. Oh, he's coming. He's coming to get you. Nobody hits me twice. No fucking buddy hits me twice. There's that voice I like. Where he's got a cigar with his nasty ass teeth. Can't get hot. Can't let yourself get hot. Ever. So pep talk. You can do it. What is this? Oh, we ruined his Crystal Gale shirt. This is shit. Oh no. No, my jacket too. No. No, this is a hundred dollar shirt. I got a reason to kill you now. I know exactly how to get my cats. Just get that cat food can and shake it. I take the lid off. I swear my cats will be wanting some baked beans because they're just so into aluminum cans.
This guy's gonna end up stabbing himself in the neck. I just know it. Can't be going around this house in the dark. Come on, kitty cat. I like the, the first person or first kitty perspective. You can sit on my lap again, and I'll give you a nice boost. Oh, it's gonna go on his ass. This is the real stuff, kitty cat. Stop talking and just get to business. What do you say? You beat me, pal. You beat me good. Mm-hmm. I'm trying too hard. You you most definitely are. Hey cat! There you go. Just enjoy your time there. Just keep talking to it. I've never blown a hit yet. That was a weird scene. How oh, is breaking out the big gun now? Fuck. <laughs> said, How dare you scratch my balls? There you go. Put out the cat food. Oh, hey baby. The movie's playing in the background. I feel like this is continues to happen for some reason. Stop talking and just do it. Fucking impossible. I had a dead beat on you. Where Turn on some you? fucking lights. It's gonna take his little nail. Oh shit. I thought he was gonna take his little nail and hit his ankle. Hey, he ain't home. That's how you lose an eye. Don't let him scratch like that. It's almost midnight. You better get your shit together, sir. You can't let them see your fear. Is the cat going inside of his mouth? Oh god, why is this? Oh god. Literally turn around the hairballs. No, please stop. Oh god. Oh my 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 god. It's gonna come out of his booty hole, isn't it? What happened next? That old man came back. No. No. Where's it at? He said, 12 o'clock, bitch, I'm coming back. Oh, this is nasty. Ooh. Oh, my God. Why is this happening? Oh no! Run away, kitty! Don't go inside the old man. Shit. Oh, oh, he's giving himself a bath. That's good. That's some nasty shit hanging outside the stomach all night. Well, there's one story in that book that's really scary, but it's a love story, too. Which one was that? She can't remember. Well, you still have to cook for quite a while, but I'd love to hear the story. There's a part of New York that's really busy during the day. And when it's late at night, there's hardly anyone around. An artist named Preston saw something very, very strange. Aw, oh, man. Aw. Oh. Don't break it. Oh, now you start over. Tell him I've been waiting half an hour. He's been waiting for half an hour. That's what he said. Another drum buoy on the rocks, please. Got some bops going on in the background. Hey, Jer. Let me get a hold of him. So, did you bring me a check? I just large amounts of cash and small bills. Judith says she hasn't moved anything of yours in over four months. She says if the stuff isn't out by tomorrow, it gets junked. Oh, that sucks. Wyatt, you're my agent. Preston, your artistic vision is not a marketable put, commodity. Putting in my, my uh, 
My notice tonight. I can't live on nothing. And I can't live on 10% of nothing. Pretty true. No, he needs to pay his bills. I'm sorry. There's your last paycheck. Sorry. Bye. Uh-uh, pick that money up so you can pay for your, your tab. Try selling it on the street like a hobo. Time to put it to bed, Preston. What about Maddox? Let him out in the morning. Oh, he has got a, either a scar or he had cleft lip. Oh, no. Oh, what if this guy gets hurt in your establishment? Do you have insurance for this, sir? It's called being overserved. That's the reason why they started that damn law. Yep, yep, he's definitely drunk. He's <laughs> who's doing that sideways walk? Now he's doing that pee pee walk. Oh, that was a face. Oh, Lord of mercy. Ew. What the hell? Oh, that looks like the, the thing from The Exorcist. I'm out of here. Never saw shit. Oh, because it's a love story. Crossing hearts. <gasps> I was wondering where she was gonna be in this. Oh, don't put your put your face next to her. She's like, you smell like you puked. What's the matter with you? It's dangerous down here. What are you trying to do? Take a taxi. If you want one. You can use the phone from my place. You can call from my place. Who is this woman to you? Come on. Why are you being weird? If some dude, like, jumped, jumped me in an alley and was like, please come back to my house, you can call a cab from there, I'd be like, mm, no, I'm good. I'll take, take my chances. <laughs> this dude looks like he's, um, a, 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 like a druggie about to rob her. I was supposed to get some credit, but I got lost. The days before cell phones, I swear. So what were you doing out this late? I ain't dumb me tonight. Got those Levi Strausses I see there. I can always tell about the patch. Oh, the line's busy. We'll try again in a minute. By the way, what's your name? <laughs> Carola. Like your name, Carola? Can I have something to drink? Yeah, I got a roofie. God, this is too much. This is like Jeffrey Dahmer shit. It's only 11.45. So where are you from anyway? Colorado. You're the first real artist I've ever met. <laughs> Tell that to my agent. Grab some Vaseline and put it on there. Oh God, why is she being weird? I had a run in with a bottle of scotch. She's like... Having weird ass sexual people pour wax and shit on each other. She's just gonna people? do it with a bottle of alcohol. This just got weird, like, very quick. Like, she's like, oh, I was supposed to meet my friends and I'm lost. Your breath smells like puke. Oh, gotta blur that one out. That was a nipple. That was a nipple. She's like, yeah, I'll clean your wound up. Let's have some sex about it. They're beautiful and sensual. Good for them. Maybe this new woman inspires him. Good morning. No, God, please, no, no! Last night was very important to me. Okay, she's being weirder than he was in the alleyway. It was my idea. What? No, Carla, not you. It was everything else until I ran into you. I need more of it. I do too, right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, look. I have to go out for a while. Wait for me. You're gonna leave this woman that you've never met in your studio with all your shit, and I hope she's not gonna rob you. I wanna ask how long are you gonna be? Do you, do you want my name and number? Carola? Carola said I wasn't gonna stay, I'm sorry. He said, God, that was the best damn lay I've ever had. How you just go about having sex after you, got, you saw your bartender's head get chopped off? And then you see the demon from The Exorcist. 
It's the same time. Oh, well, the clock it has apparently been broke this this entire time. I'm just now realizing it. Or it's right twice a day. Yeah. We never know. How'd she know he was there? Was she creeping? And waiting? She's like, it's so weird. I actually live next door to you. This feels like the studio from the fly. Because we now know what that is. But the girl I'm staying with, her boyfriend came back and I... I didn't ask you any questions. I called a friend of mine. She owns a gallery down on Houston Street. I told her how wonderful I thought your work was. So she'd like to come down and see it. Does your friend have a name? Victorine. I hope you don't mind that I did this. But who are you? Victorine Roger owns the hottest gallery downtown. <laughs> of course I don't mind. Well, let's see. What is that fit that he's got? He's wearing his members only jacket with a tie. Rest in. I haven't seen you around, pal. It's good to see you sober, man. Not since the night Jared died. Is Jared's dead? What? He used to be the bartender at this bar we what? hung out at. He died. Jared's dead. He died. In, In the, the alley. alley. Out back. Out back. I told the cops everything I knew, which is exactly nothing. He's, he's fucked up, but you don't even care. Secret. So are you sorry you met me? I'm, s I'm sorry I don't know anything about you other than your first name. I took care of you. Will you take care of me? Oh, my child. What? Your child. Whose goddamn white baby is that? <laughs> awesome. Which I just met you, you yesterday. Are you legitimate or what? They just met. They just met. What is happening? Will you marry me? What? This is getting weird. Will you marry me like this? Are you married? No, 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 I'm happy for them, but it's just kind of weird that they just met and they're pregnant and now they want to have some babies. Story. Story just got very tenure-ish. Just like, shit, he's been had him work for me. God damn it. These kids ran me ragged. Damn. Some party tonight that I'm missing? Preston and I are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the night we oh. first met. When he thought he was going to push you up against the wall and rape you? What the hell? Yeah. You find another agent that'll babysit the spawn of hell on a Saturday night. <laughs> Jeez. Like, maybe they had twins or had more kids. I don't know. Nothing like a, a nice stroll behind a trash. Trash can people on the, the garbage folk. Do it. Mm. For sure. Good night, Wyatt. Good night, Wyatt. Let's move to the country. We'll buy a big house with lots of land for the kids. There's nothing you could give me that I don't already have. Oh no. He's giving her something she don't have. And that's his story. Oh shit. Don't do it. Oh, you made a claymation character out of him. She's like, that's fun. Thank you for showing me. I appreciate it. You want to go to bed? Make some more babies? That's what killed Jer. Then it turned on me. It said to me it wouldn't kill me if I promised never to tell anybody what had happened, what I'd seen. I'm kind of doing that right now. That is not okay. I never told anybody. And then why are you telling me? Because you're the most important thing in my life. I love you so much. I'm telling you because I love you. You deserve everything I can give you. That's a lot to unload on somebody after 10 years. I'd be like, oh, I don't know how I feel right now about this information. <laughs> Maybe we can unpack this later. She's like, weird, that looks just like my daddy. I'm not making this up. I'm telling you the truth. You promised you'd never tell! <laughs> to such an extremity. No. No. 
They just built me up for this, didn't they? It's gross. What are you doing with the kids? Stop it. It's huge. I gotta eat you and the kids. <gasps> it can't be. He done slipped on a dead body. No! Oh. Your kids are ugly. I'm so sorry. But they're like half human still, though. I loved you. And I loved you too. She broke your vow and that sealed our destiny. Oh. Oh. That's, that's, that's hard. I just gotta go around with her two kids being a single demon, raising her kids all by herself. Oh. Poor babies. Well, if that ain't some 90s graphics, I'll tell you. How was that? I don't want to know. Oh, is that what happens? It becomes a little statue until it gets woke up again. That gave me chills. My goodness, you really did keep the best one for last, didn't you? I saved the really, really best one for now. Because now it's too late. Now it's late. It's about this kid, and his name's Timmy. That's weird. That's nice Your too. name's Timmy. And one day, Timmy's older brother got sick. Timmy went to this one house. This lady who answered the door, she said, come on in. And she threw him into her pantry. She made me cookies all day long. This is your story. And you can stop telling it now. She's like, that's you weird. know how it comes out. Yeah. You see, Timmy had these marbles. When he threw them on the floor, she didn't see where they went. And she slipped. Oh, shit. Oh, no. She's cooking herself. Get the keys. Timmy saw his kids for sleep. Oh, reach the keys. little kid. Push her in. There you go. There you go. Take your cookies for payment. Chips a lot. Just love happy endings. <laughs> well, that was cute. All right, let's talk about it. All right, I will keep this very short and sweet because one, it, it had the, they had the visual effects that very much reminded me of the thing, like when he was doing the chest compressions and shit on him. It kind of reminded me of that when old dude at the ass end of it, Carla, uh, came out and did the eh, and it was gross. And this was a very great movie. I love this cast. It, it was a very stacked up cast given it, its time. I am giving this one 4.75 black cats. It's really pushing me now to want to watch the series since I've never watched it. Whew. Okay. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell, blah, blah, blah. And next week's video will be a public, public domain video again. Thank you. There'll be food and drink and clothes.